And you know, just to look at when the company goes from four million dollars a month in sales their last their last month in retail to nearly five million dollars a month in sales now, you know, two to two and a half years, not even two and a half years later, there's something that you have to see there. Why is that happening? Is the product changed? No, it's actually the exact same product. There's more research on it. Um, you know, has, has uh, any of that changed? No, it's the same product, just the story of how it's being told, the vehicle of the messaging or that marketing system has changed. And, you know, when, when I look at creating a business or we look at what we want to invest in, I just look at what's the, what's the simplest thing we can do? I mean, really, what's the, what can we do for the least amount of work with the highest rate of return, right? And I didn't want to go spend tens of thousands of dollars on something that was going to take me a couple of years to get that return out of and everything else. So to get involved as a distributor, you guys, it's $630 to, to enter this business at the highest level of investment, which we call our Vantage Pack, which $530 of that is product, okay, which you're going to use for marketing. You know, you can sell it, you can give it out. There's more strategy in how to use that in the training. But so most of what you're buying in that $630 kit is product. The other $100 is marketing materials, training materials, you know, things that you're going to need to do this business anyway. Because we're in a network marketing company, right? So you're going to need to have those things to help market it uh, anyhow. So that's the highest level of investment, which is also by, by coming in at that vantage factor, you're going to then pre-qualify yourself for all of the full commissions through those six bonuses, okay? There is a lesser investment to get involved as a distributor. It's called the basic enrollment. And it's a, it's a $50 enrollment. You're going to basically get the start kit of information about what you just signed up with. Um, there's no product in that. Um, if you want to be qualified to earn commissions right out of the gates by enrolling at that level, you need to do at least $100 in product uh, attached to that. So because there's a, there's a qualifier in getting paid on a monthly basis, you got to have a minimum of $100 in personal volume to get paid each month, so that includes your first one. So really, you have a $150 option, you have a $630 option. Now, if you come in at that basic $150 option, you are, some of your front end bonuses and the fast start bonuses that I was talking about, those do change a little bit and you're gonna be leaving some money on the table. But it, you know, I tell people right up front, be very open, because if someone's coming to me saying, I heard the whole program, seen the presentation, did my research, it looks good, it checks out, uh, you know, they come to me and say, you know, I want to get, this looks good, I'm going to get involved with you guys and see how this goes. You know, let's get involved and start, and start treading some water and see how this goes. I will be very upfront with them and very respectful to say, well, don't waste $650 of your own money, you know, coming into the business with that mindset. Because that's like, you know, saying, let's have kids and see how it goes, right? <laughs> let's go start a restaurant business and see how it goes, or any kind of business. You have to have a little bit more of a focus because, like I said, if you treat it like a business, it'll pay you like a business. If you treat it like a hobby, it'll cost you money like a hobby. Uh, you know, I tell them we invest at this $150 level, get your toes wet, come to some events, you know, start meeting some people, do more research, start to gain more of a belief about what you're doing, and you'll create more value associated to what this is, and you will see the, the reason you're going to need to upgrade to that vantage pack at a later point, which a person can't do. So that whole spiel will just explain the different ways of getting involved. And there's a PowerPoint for this somewhere I'm not going to use, I'm just going to tell you how it is, okay? And this is very easily done. There's no paperwork, there's no inventory product, okay, none of that. Every distributor gets a very nicely done replicated website where all the resources you can think of are there, from the research papers on the product to the company's financials, who's involved, uh, you know, all of the company events, all of that stuff's there. You can log into your back office just like logging into an email account. You can, you can view every report you can think of from commission reports to downline uh, summaries and organizational charts. And, it, it allows you to communicate through your back office to people in your business. It's basically a turnkey business. Your website's there. Uh, they couldn't really make it any easier. And I think that's part of the downfall of some of these companies is because they really facilitated, uh, you know, what you need to be, do and what you need to have. They facilitated so well that a lot of people lose the, the I guess, the value of what it is to run a business because you didn't have to create all that stuff yourself. You didn't have to invest the money and hire the people to set up those programs and you know put all those things and all those programs into place. So, you know, I know just if you come from a background where you've had to do that yourself, you can definitely appreciate what they have there. So, six hundred thirty dollars gets you into the vantage pack. One hundred fifty dollars gets you into the basic level. There are some differences, like I said, in, in what happens from there on out, but you can upgrade and fix that later if you need to. So, the first thing that I kind of talk about the way these the bonuses pay out is if you've spent you know, $630 or whatever to get involved in this thing, or you know, with any business investment, right? You spend $600,000 to invest into something. Your first goal is to recover that investment, get your ROI, right? 
as soon as possible. Then you're out of the red and into the black, and then things aren't as stressful, and you can now start to actually make a true profit in the books, right? And so to make that $630 back, you guys, is very simple. Um, and I've seen people complicate it, but it is very simple in how we teach it and how we go out and help people do this, okay? There's, there's a, a lot of different ways of getting there, but the fastest and easiest way to recover that $630 is basically go get three people that you know to sign up for this thing at, at a Vantage Pack well. <coughs> By getting your, when, when you get back on your first three people at Vantage Packs, you're gonna make about $210 back on each check, okay? Uh, from each person. So 210 times three, 630. You've made your money back. Now, after you've enrolled three Vantage Packs and your fourth Vantage Pack enrollment there on after, you're gonna make a little more. It's gonna go up by 50 bucks, you'll make 260, okay? And that those numbers are a combination of two of those different fast start bonuses kind of summarized together to help explain it. Now, if you're not bringing in Vantage Packs, and let's say you're just bringing in customers, you're just bringing in the basic level distributors, then that number doesn't stay 210 or 260. That is for, per, for when people purchase Vantage Packs. Now, what you are gonna get instead of that is you're gonna make a 40% commission on whatever product they purchase, and that's paid out the very next week. So anybody who's ever worked in commission before, I think would agree that a 40% commission is pretty generous. Um, and that it, it is not calculated on a monthly basis with giving them two weeks more to process it, and you're not seeing that paycheck 45, 50 days later. It's literally paid weekly. So if you've made an enrollment within that week, that next week they're sending you a check in the mail or sending it to a direct deposit account, however you choose to have that done. So you can you know look at the comp plan, you can look at the the, uh, the actual PDF file, which I think we have a little bit of a I will screw this up, Mark. Go wait a minute. Set the next arrow. I'm gonna come back to that. Right here. If you guys go in your back office and look up the compensation plan, the PDF file, and there's some there's some uh, it's explanation that goes with it. There's a video on the True TV links on our website of Ryan Thompson explaining these six bonuses. It's about ten minutes long. It'll get it starts to give you an introduction to how these, this comp plan structure works. But I've talked a little bit about the, the front end monies and how you can recover that investment, how people can start making a, a quick return in the beginning. But the framework and the skeleton of our comp plan is structured to what's called a unilevel design or unilevel structure. <coughs> Um, anyone who's familiar with different comp plans out there will know that there's a difference between unilevels and binaries and matrices and different things out there. Um, what I like to point out though is that the only companies in our history of the industry who have ever succeeded a billion dollar uh, you know, net worth or annual sales as a company did it with a, a unilevel structure. There hasn't been a binary plan to it or anything else. So over the, the history of this industry, this, this system has proven to work and sustain those companies long term. But there still is a lot of differences in how these unilevel structures work and how you qualify through these ranking systems and earn you know, the full payout of these comp plans, which I'm not gonna get into all that detail tonight, but start learning this stuff because if you're doing this as a business, this component of your presentation is just as important, if not arguably right now at this phase in life of the business, more important than understanding the product entirely, okay? Because for me, when people ask, you know, I'm telling people what's going on in life and it's so tangible, when people ask me what I do or what we're involved with, I, I don't think I've ever, we were talking about with Vince and Donnie earlier about this, is that I don't think I've ever told someone, oh, I've got this great product to show you, or I've got this great you know, product to tell you about. Because to me, that's not really where my focus is. My focus is, this is the business we're doing, let me show with you how to make some money and what we're doing to make, you know, make this business work. And because of this product, and because of all this research of who these people are and what they've figured out, is why this business is working, why it's working long term. And if after all of that conversation they ain't interested in the business, that's fine, but it should be left at the end of that conversation pretty understood that this is a product we're taking. You probably get a customer out of the deal anyway. Or if they're not interested in both, they're just one of the ones that aren't interested, and that, that happens too. So start studying this, but the way the unit level structure works, you guys, is as you become an entity in the company and you get an identification number, your website's set up, and everything starts moving, you know, it's, it's there, the infrastructure's there for you. As you start to introduce this to people and as you follow this proven system that gets people in, educated and introduced and ultimately a yes or no out of them, what you're looking for, whether they're interested in the product or the business, uh, as they get involved with you, the ones that do, there's now got to be some kind of organized structure that starts to unfold through your through your business, which creates your business. And you know that's the multi-level structure that we talk about, how the commissions are paid, their, their commissions are paid through multiple levels. Of, of, of tiers of business and who makes who and where everything sits. 
So there's a lot of strategy and, and different opinion on how to structure that organization physically and where to put people and how to create teams and leverage each other's efforts to get more momentum and more growth out of each other. But that's like I said, we can talk more on training on how all that works. Just know that as you start to structure your business and as you start to you know, be accountable to these business leaders that you're working with and starting to create a system of duplication, which ultimately is what leads to the bigger numbers of these things. Because if your goal is just to make a couple thousand dollars a month in this or a few hundred dollars a month, which I'm not saying is a bad goal, I'm just saying that isn't a very difficult one if you actually are applying yourself and doing really much at all with this and staying consistent. We were talking about consistency earlier that that is really the, what differentiates those who are doing well with it now versus those who aren't. Those who just kept doing it and been consistent with it have pushed through and started to get the results. Some just came sooner for others. Um, but our unit level structure pays through nine compressed levels of an organization. What I mean by compressed is, if you imagine yourself in, in tearing down nine levels of people and how this can branch out, and you can create as many lines of business as you want in unit level, okay? To maximize our comp plan, our ranking system goes from Pro 1 to Pro 10, which is, is really just uh, is, is categorizing you at a, at a rank or titling you at a rank, which is correlates to the size of your business in monthly sales. A Pro 1 business is doing $1,000 a month in sales. It builds a Pro 2 at 2,500, it builds a Pro 3 at 5,000, and all those benchmarks are spelled out on here. You can see that you know, Pro 10 is a million dollars a month. We have two qualified paid Pro 10s in the company right now, just to show you guys how early we are in this. Between all of US, Mexico, Japan, and pre-launching Australia right now, we've got two business centers in the company that are at Pro 10. And then we got five or six at Pro 9, and just a couple at Pro 8, and a few dozen at Pro 7. So just know that that's where we are right now as far as is, is uh, you know, results so far, but the company's already paying out over six-figure monthly checks, okay? Not annually, monthly, which may not fit for everybody in perspective to how we make money. I know it didn't for me, growing up on the farm and the ranch and firefight, making 40, 50,000 a year at the very most, uh, you know, and to, to be turning those annual incomes into monthly incomes, uh, it almost sounded too good to be true. But once you understand how the mechanics of this comp plan works, and what the success ratio is, when you're out talking to people and you're following the system correctly, if it's two or three out of 10 people you're talking to that get involved in the business, those are good numbers. You know, honestly, you'll probably have more people just get involved in the product. It might be as high as eight or nine out of 10. Depends on what 10 you're talking to, right? But, you know, regardless of who does what, that's their choice. Our job is to be the messenger uh, of some information and try to you know, paint the picture around it and show its, its magnitude for what it is. Um, if you look around at the companies that, that are out there today that are doing well, um, you know, they have, they've got some history behind them. They've set some patterns and some trends and there's some cycles that you can look at. And right now, you guys, there isn't a company in this industry that is doing what Live Manage is doing, okay? I was talking to Kirby Zinger, the uh, Vice President, of, uh, the Senior VP of Operations, and Joe Madden of the company, and, he said, there's only really one other company that's even doing close to what we're doing. He wouldn't tell me who it is, so I'm gonna have to do my own research to see who, who the one other company is that's really doing well right now. But I can guarantee you it's not a startup publicly traded company like Life Management, because right now this is the only, the first and only company to ever start out in its life in the network marketing as a publicly traded company. Uh, has anybody in here been watching the stock of this company lately? I'm sure there is. Close at like $1.62 today, I think. Uh, when me and Blue and Eric and some of these other guys, Mark, when we first looked at this company, it was trading like 23, 25 cents, okay? And, and that, was, that was on its way up from like seven cents where it was just a little while before that. So, you know, the company, like I said, their financials didn't look so good before, but when you look at it now, um, there's definitely a little more to reflect on it and have a little bit more to, to stand up and brag about when you, you, know, you see press releases like they let out a couple weeks ago or two weeks ago where the the board had just approved a $5 million buyback program for the company to buy back common, share stock, uh, uh, common shares of Live Vantage stock over the next year. Um, that's, that has to say something for what these guys are thinking as far as where this company is going. You know, when a company needs money, needs to borrow money, they leverage that stock and you know, do private placement and things like that. Uh, and that hurts the stock, right? I mean, that's not a good thing. But when a company is bullish about where they are and doing very well and not needing to borrow any money, they buy that stock back and, and, and increase the value of it, obviously. So um, you can look back at what those financials or the, the uh, press releases are.